Hi, this is Mike Green, and in this video we'll see how to install Riala Whistle. It's pretty easy, but if you've never installed an instrument with native access before, then watching this video should make things a little bit easier. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is click this Download Files button in the email we sent you. That takes you to the download page. This download button here downloads the installation guide, which you might want, although this video explains the same things, so you can skip that. Then here you'll see this video instructions link, which that's the video you're watching right now, so I guess you already clicked it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is install native access. Once we have native access, it installs everything automatically for us. So click this download link, or in the PDF instructions, click this link, or just Google native access. Any of those methods will take you to this download page for native access. Choose the Mac or PC button, and it starts to download. Then we double click the installer, which creates the native access app, then drag it into our applications folder. So let's look in our applications folder. Hey, there's native access right there. I'll double click to open it up. Since this is the first time, my Mac is asking if I trust native instruments. I do, so I click open. It wants to install a helper tool, which is also okay. And here's this update page, so I click OK on that one too. And here we are at the login page. If you already have an account, then sign in. Otherwise, we'll create a native ID account. Name, email address, password, checkbox. OK, we're in. Now, we haven't installed anything yet, but we're about to. So go right here to where it says Add a Serial. Click that. And here is where you put in the Riala Whistle Native Access Serial Number. So where do you get that serial number? Go back to our Riala Whistle download page. Right here under where it says Riala Whistle is this license key. This is your Native Access Serial Key. So copy that, then paste it here. Now click this Add Serial button. Success! Riala Whistle is now registered. But it's not installed yet, so as you can see in these instructions, we need to visit the Products Not Installed tab. And here we are. So we scroll down to find Riala Whistle. There it is. So now we click this Install button. And now it starts downloading. Once it finishes downloading, then it automatically starts installing. Success! Okay, we've got one more step. Riala Whistle runs inside the contact player, so we also need to install that. So in this same Not Installed section, we scroll up to find Contact Player. While we're here, you'll notice that Native Instruments also loaded you up with some free stuff. Honestly, I don't know what most of this stuff is, but later on, you'll probably want to download this Contact Factory selection. There's a bunch of good stuff in there. But for now, we're just going to load Contact Player. So click the Install button. And it does its downloading thing. And now it's installing. Boom, done. So now go to your Applications folder, look for a Native Instruments folder and a Contact folder, and there's Contact 6 Player. Let's fire it up. Now it starts us with the Preferences page. We can skip all these, but we do want to check the Audio Preferences. That's where we choose our audio interface. I don't have an interface for this laptop computer, so I'm just using headphones here. So I'll leave this set to internal. But of course, if you have an audio interface, set it to that. The other thing I need to set is the keyboard. Contact automatically recognizes that I have a complete control keyboard, but I need to actually tell Contact to use it. So I go here to turn it on. Now, Contact doesn't have on, they just have ports. It's kind of weird, but I always just choose port A and that does the trick. You can always change preferences later, of course. So now I'll close this and there's the contact interface with Riala Whistle in the Libraries tab. To open it up, click this Instruments button to display the instruments and double click the Riala Whistle NKI. Riala Whistle is ready to go. One handy thing to know is that if you go to this button at the top, you can show or hide various elements of the contact interface, like the keyboard. Another handy trick is that if you click this button here, you can access the Riala Whistle manual, as well as our NKS knobs guide. 
They also exist in this documentation folder, but this is a quick and easy way to access them. So now you're an expert. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy Riala Whistle.